6.30 at night, everyone in my house just woke up from a nap and we still need to make dinner. So tonight we are still eating our way through the freezer and we are doing a big batch of shredded chicken so we can make dinner tonight and dinner tomorrow will be much easier. Tonight we are making creamy chicken bacon ranch sandwiches. It's going to be delicious, let's do this. I am going to put four chicken breasts right into my pressure cooker. I don't want this chicken to be crazy seasoned in any sort of direction because it's being used for two very different meals. So I'm going to take some chicken bouillon and sprinkle it right on top. Easily two metric tons of garlic. We have four chicken breasts, remember. Looks good. And now some dehydrated minced onion, as much as you like. I'm going to add two cups of water because I want, mm, I'm going to add one cup of water. Pop your lid on, make sure your vent is sealing and cook this for 15 minutes at high pressure. Let it naturally release for about seven. We'll be back. I have these massive rolls that I bought at the bakery at our local grocery store. I am going to slice them in half. These are our buns. They will be large sandwiches, but we're hungry. It's late. We lived a lot of life today, okay? And I'm going to take some Chef Chamois garlic butter. I have come to love this crap. I got it at Sam's Club. To slather it on each half. And we are going to toast this and it's going to be glorious. I'm going to pop my butter rolls right into my oven along with my bacon and my french fries. It's a full oven, okay? My chicken, she has finished cooking. We are going to shred up all the chicken in a different bowl. We're going to shred this up and separate it out. I am going to take half of my chicken and set it to the side for tomorrow night's meal. You'll have to follow along to see what the hell I make with this. Into my shredded chicken, I am going to take a half a block of cream cheese. Now, every now and again, I go on a bender and I start buying cream cheese for no reason because I don't really even like cream cheese, but it happens. So I always have an extra block of cream cheese in my fridge at any given time. It's weird, I know. Chuck this right in your bowl. We are also going to add about a half a packet of ranch seasoning powder. Looks about right. You can always add more, you can't take it out. We're starting slow. I'm going to take a couple ladlefuls out of my pressure cooker of this delicious sauce and garlic and onion. And that is going to be the moisture that turns this into a saucy creamy situation. Stir this all around, shred it together. Ideally your cream cheese would not be cold as ice. Mine is. We're just gonna let the heat from all this melt it. We'll be okay, we'll get there. I have a ton of half full bags of shredded cheese. I'm gonna add some shredded cheese to this. It's going to be good, it's going to be delicious, it's gonna be fine. Nothing matters. Stir this around. I'm also going to grind some fresh black pepper right into our chicken. It just feels right, I don't know why. We're going off of vibes, okay? I have here my toasted buns and my chicken mixture. I'm going to put my chicken mixture onto my buns. You're probably thinking, Jessica, you have a family of four, why are you only making three sandwiches? I have a family of four, two of them are half a human. They're tiny, they can share. I baked some bacon. We're gonna put bacon on each of our sandwiches. How could that be bad? Bring ours with some french fries, straight out of the freezer. Well, then I put them in the oven, but you get the idea. We're eating our way through the freezer, don't you remember? And that is dinner. Let's try this. I may have over toasted my bun, but it's so good. Coming from a non cream cheese lover, this is so good. Make this shit. But of course it's good. I made it. Follow along for more aggressive tutorials.